In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Send Tracks in FL Studio. Send Tracks are incredibly useful when it comes to quickly applying commonly used effects, such as reverb and delay on several different elements in your track. Here I have a basic project set up. It's very dry at the moment. There's no reverb or delay going on whatsoever. Now let's say I wanted to apply some reverb on the leads and perhaps some delay. I could just load a delay and reverb plugin and then copy it to the other tracks. I showed you this in one of my quick tip videos earlier about how to copy mixer effects between tracks. If you haven't seen it yet, then you should check it out when you're done watching this one. You can find the link for it in the description below. That method allows you to quickly copy effects between mixer tracks while retaining the settings. But in this case, when you know you're going to use the same effect a lot, it's actually much quicker to use send tracks, as I'm about to show you. When you open a new project, you'll notice that you have four tracks docked right there. These are send tracks. Well, actually, they're ordinary mixer tracks because any mixer track can be used as a send track in FL Studio. But let's not get carried away by that right now. At least this makes it a little more organized. So let's get started. I know I'll be using a lot of reverb, so I'll start by loading a reverb plugin here. This will be our reverb send track. When loading send effects, it's important that they are 100% wet. We only want the wet signal applied. Next, load a delay plugin on the second one. Do the same thing there. Turn the wet knob to 100%. Now we have two send tracks, one with reverb, one with delay. So how does this work? Well, it's actually extraordinarily simple, especially since version 12 with the new mixer cables. This makes it easy to see what goes where. All tracks are already routed to these four designated send tracks. Let's apply some reverb to our pads. Click on the track containing the pad, and then just adjust this knob here to apply the effect. Hence the name, Send Track. The further you turn it, the more prominent the effect becomes. Now you can quickly apply this effect to various elements like this. The same goes for the delay. Do you see how quick that is? If you want, you can also add a chain of effects on your send track. Let's say you wanted to have a side-chained reverb on your pad. 
but you don't want to sidechain the pad itself. Just add some sidechain after the reverb on the send. Or perhaps you want to low cut the effects. There's a lot of possibilities. This is where you can get creative, and it's so simple to do. There's a small catch though. I don't want to become all technical with you, but there are some issues with the PDC system in FL Studio that you need to be aware of. The send tracks themselves are not delay compensated, so you may end up with sounds being out of sync. In this scenario, the manual states that you should use three tracks in order to bypass the issue. That way it should be in sync. This works for the most part, but if you have a lot of submixes or other fancy routing, then you will eventually have problems getting this to work properly. This is why I usually use Patcher instead to avoid any potential problems. In most normal scenarios, you will usually be fine. I just wanted to sound a note of caution so that you don't end up wondering why something doesn't sound right after using the send tracks. I will be making another video soon explaining how to use Patcher, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, feel free to like, share, and comment on this video if you liked it. And if you really liked it, you can head over to my Patreon page and support my work there. I hope this was helpful. If there's any specific tutorial you'd like me to make, or if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.